My name is John Roberts. I was born in New York. I lost my father when I was nine, my mother when I was 13. My stepfather threw me out of the house when I was 13. My sister tried to raise me, failed miserably because of me. I went to see my uncle, and my uncle took me in. First, he, he had me collecting money because he was a loan shark. So he put me with one of his guys, who also happened to be the driver for Carlo Gambino. And my uncle said, don't worry, this guy will take care of you. Some guy owed my uncle money. We kidnapped him. We threw him in an apartment. And the guy that I used to do it with me was strung out on heroin. I said, look, I'm going home to sleep. You watch this guy. Well, he ends up shooting up and ODing. So the guy he's watching just opens the door and walks into the street because my friend's dead on the floor. He ran to the police. The police came and, you know, they got me and they put me in, uh, at that time, they had a place called the Tombs in New York, which was one of the original jails. And they came around to the Tombs and they made people offers. Uh, if you go to Vietnam and you leave with an honorable discharge, your charges will be dropped. I said, okay, that sounds like a good deal. And I signed up for a year, and they interview you. And they said, look, we're going to give you advanced training. We're going to send you here, and we're going to make you, you know, you can do some crazy things if you want in Vietnam. And what it was for was, it was 101st Airborne. And, um, you know, I got to like it because I, I had a bad mentality. And I ended up staying there four years. I got blown out of a tree. I got a metal plate in my head. And uh, I mean, I don't want to get into stories over there and shit like that, because everybody has a story, so, you know. And when you come back and you can't do anything, it's like, you know, what am I trained to do? And I lost everything. Uh, my uncle, he said to me, you and I are going to make a lot of money together. And we opened a restaurant there, opened it. We bought it or took it from somebody, if I remember back in my childhood. And it was called Alice's Restaurant. And then we went into nightclubs. And we opened about four or five nightclubs that became very big. And we were doing really well. One day, they just came in, the police, and they told us that our partner, they had found him out on the Long Island Expressway, and he had been killed, and he had like 11 bullet holes in him. So who knows what happened to him. The best thing that I could think at that time was, just let me get away from all this heat. So I moved down here and started into uh, the cocaine business.